Welcome to Gold Geology 101, part one of two. You ask, where does the gold in my ring come from? The sun? No. Not the sun. Where's the gold then? Hint. Gold is a leftover. A leftover from a star, but not just any star will do. There's something special about the star that generates gold. To really understand this, I uh, had to hit the books a little bit. So let's take a look at what I found. Pretty interesting when you look at gold and its origin. Just exactly what's going on up there. The Hubble telescope gives us some fabulous pictures of things we've never seen before, at least not close up. Things like nebula, stars, and the like. A main sequence fusion star like our sun stops fusion at iron. But, wait a minute, maybe just a few seconds. As soon as we get to iron, if the right mass exists, kaboom, the iron core collapses by gravity and a supernova happens. Supernovas can emit the energy of 10 to the 28th megatons of TNT. Gold is forged in the most powerful furnace in the visible universe, a supernova. There's the missing heavy elements, cobalt, gold, and beyond. It took the force of a supernova to make them happen. And now those same forces spread the gold throughout the universe, blown across space in the form of a nebula. The dust and gases cool and collect into planets and new stars. Gravity once again takes over and draws the dust and massive chunks of debris and gases into spinning accretion disks and clouds, including tiny bits of gold. The dust, metals, and gases cool and collect into planets and new stars. With our planet, Earth, now taking shape, in the next video, we're going to look at just how all that tiny amount of gold gets to the surface and concentrates for us. We continue with Geology 101, Part 2.